Isang dosena sa pinakamagagaling na manlalaro ng Pilipinas ang sama-samang kinumpol para maging sandigan ng ating kapuluan ngayong darating na Agosto. The final composition of the team was uh, formulated to be able to most successfully execute the kind of game that we want, the game that's predicated on quickness and outside shooting. It's an effective uh, offensive system because uh, walang requirement na matangkad eh. Ang importante lang, you have to break down your defender and at the same time, shoot consistently from the outside. Well, our big men play a very specific role aside from Marcus, who's uh, really our, our main low post offensive threat. The other bigs like Jumar and Japet uh, play uh, roles. Uh, the number one is to back Marcus up but also to play uh, great defense to uh, serve as inside presence uh, against the other teams. Slams it in the face of the 7 foot 3 center. Mas maliliit talaga tayo no. Pero yun nga dahil doon may may advantage naman tayo sa quickness. Castro trying to show the beast how it's done gets the basket make a sama pang foul. In an international competition one factor diyan is the shooting. Pagka gumanda ang shooting mo, you'll have a good shot of winning the game. Hindi naman siguro tayo papatalo ron. Gary D. Stops and pops from three. Pasok na naman. He puts it up. Oh! Jeff Jett at the buzzer! Bukod sa talento, iba't iba ang kanilang edad, pinanggalingan at personalidad. Mialong ko keng uh, mga ligan labas, anikit na ako mamialong karim mga barangay league. May nag-invite sa akin na kung bisa ako mamialong keng uh, PCO. Nag-walk-in na ako sa practice sa UC. Nakuha ko dito. Na Bali varsity ko tas for five years. Nandu ako sa UC. Nung una, ang ko amuti agayam ti basketball but yung kaibigan ko parang uh, tinuruan niya ako na oy nagdakal ka so kay mo gayam basketball sabi ko hindi ko alam maglaro ng basketball eh pero okay sige ako uh, yun uh, every day so suron ti agayam ti basketball so tiyaga lang so yun na surok mo ti agayam ti basketball Ngunit sa pagsasani puwersa ng kanilang mga talento, mas natutuklasan nila ang pride ng pagiging Pilipino sa pagtaguyod ng karangalang ito sa court. Very important kasi na you strip whatever affiliation you have and just focus on uh, Team Pilipinas. I really wasn't sure how, how guys would really mesh with each other considering some of the rivalries that we have with each other in the PBA. But I think it's something that guys really left at the front door and really looked at the bigger picture. Itong team na to, gusto nila maging bahagi ng team na ito. Gusto nilang i-represent ang, ang kanilang bansa, ang Pilipinas. And just for that, I think this team is going to fight. They're going to fight for each other. They're going to fight for their country. Ito yung chance natin umangat naman sa larong basketball and lalo na na home court pa natin uh, yung mga crowd na sa likod natin kailangan natin bigay lahat the players are really working hard for this uh, tournament we're ready uh, we're ready to play uh, this August sa FIBA Asia magpapakamatay ang bawat isang player na to last man sa bench kahit siguro coaching staff magpapakamatay for this Sina Gabe Norwood at Jimmy Alapad ay kapwa lumaki sa Amerika bago mahugot dito sa Pilipinas dahil sa basketball. I lived in Hawaii, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, all over the place. And um, everywhere we moved, there was a sense of Filipino community. And it was something that I took pride in. You know, my mom made sure that I took pride in and, and to understand everything about the person that I am. And that's the biggest reason why I wanted to come here. Both my parents are, are, are Filipino, so I'm 100% I'm Pinoy, uh, other than being born uh, and raised in the States. In our household, my mom and dad were very strict with, with 
holding on to those Filipino values of, of family, of, of respect, and, and being proud of, of where you come from. And uh, that stuck with me uh, even till now. At sa ilang beses na nilang paglalaro para sa bayan, ay mas naintindihan nila ang pagiging Pilipino. I can't be any more excited to be here and, and represent my Filipino side and also just my family all together. Talagang Pinoy na Pinoy eh. Kumbaga yung culture natin, yung mga pag-uugali ng isang Pinoy, talagang nasa kanila, hindi sila mayroon pakisamaan. Nandun yung pusong Pinoy talaga eh. You know, this is a huge country of of basketball-loving fans, and to be honored and to be picked is, is something special. Gabe Norwood takes the free right back. Gabe Norwood from out of nowhere Woo! for the throwdown. For me, it's, it's come full circle. Um, you know, I think back to 2002 when, when I had an opportunity to, to play and, and work out with guys like, you know, Olsen Rosella and, and Johnny Albrientos and Danny Siegel. Um, you know, those guys taught me a lot. and. That was really my first chance to, to really get an understanding of not just Philippine basketball, but really get a better understanding of, of where I come from, where my parents come from, and ultimately where our family comes from. Uh, saludo talaga ako kay Jamie, no? Akala mo, late, late, pero yung puso niya, napakalaki pagdating sa basketball. The first time you put on that uniform, and the first time you hear our national anthem playing, it really makes you feel like, hey, you know, it's not just the 12 guys. It's really a whole country that you're playing for. The reason why they're lasting and doing so well is because they understand that there is something bigger. There is a bigger picture, and they're giving their hearts out. Malaking tulong naman para sa gilas ang naturalized import nila si Marcos Dautet na sumama na sa national team mula pa nung nakaraang versyon ng gilas. Obviously, having Marcus Douthat with us um, really, I think, gives us the best opportunity to, to be successful. I feel like uh, I'm considered somewhat of the chosen one to be here, to be able to represent uh, the Philippines. And, um, you know, just a great opportunity. Hopefully, I can take everything in stride and make all the Filipinos proud. At sa kanyang pagtagal sa national team, ay mas lalo na rin siya nagiging Pinoy at mas lalo napapamahal sa ating bansa. For me, it wasn't it wasn't too hard to become more Filipino through time because you know the living here is so much easy, and uh, the people here has so much respect, and that's something that I was kind of brought up with and born with, and uh, you know so it was an easy transition for me. Minsan tahimik, minsan kengkoy, kasi ganon din ang pinoy na kipagsayawan sa min, magjojok sa minsan, so nandun narin talaga, pusong pinoy narin talaga. I'm just glad that. The way I did come apart, you know, of being a naturalized Filipino, it kind of fit my my personality uh, before I even got here. So it wasn't that hard to, you know, to transition myself into being more of a, you know, a natural born Filipino like everyone else is. Ang pride ng pagiging Pinoy at pagrepresenta sa ating pandila ay mas lalong nararamdaman ng gilas Pilipinas sa kanilang paglalaro sa ibang bansa. Okay, grabe yung support na binibigay ng mga kababayan natin sa ibang bansa kahit sa kami maglaro. Talagang yung support nila uh, nandun. Pilipinas! Why? <laughs> alam nila, alam nila kung ano yung pakiramdam namin pag nasa ibang bansa na homesick. Ginagawa nila, pinagdadala nila kami ng pagkain ng lutong Pinoy doon. Grabe, grabe yung support na binibigay ng mga Pinoy sa mga kababayan natin sa ibang bansa.